So today I want us to do a small quick tour at the Kantanka Utomobo plant. This is the HR of the company. It's gonna make our sign. It is stupid guy. Last night I was sign here. So we are at the Kantanka Utomobo um, General Assembly plant. We have about five buildings here. We have the welding line, we have the um, the treatment pool where normally after the cars are being welded we we, we we send it there for the body to be well treated in case we have, we have to take care of all kinds of rustness or anything any kind of rusting then from there we go to the spray line then this is the general assembly line where it has been recently been um, expanded because of the new policy government has introduced into the country so we cannot be we can be able to expand our production. So I'm going to turn the camera around for you guys to see or have a feel or have a look at what we're doing here. So there's a new... Um, this is just the same as mine. But these are going to the Flagstaff house today. So no matter what, I've told these guys that they don't finish these cars, I'm going to <laughs> start popping some bottles on some people's head. Okay. Hey, PJ. 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 What did they watch? So these are the little cars that have been parked here. So you can see the size difference. This is a case, Kataka K71. And if you look at the size of it, it's very, it's a bit bigger than these small ones. I mean, Ghanaians are going to love these cars. I tried one a few days ago and I filled the tank, I think, without, with 150 cities or so. And it took me to... Uh, track right and back and I still took the vehicle to Accra and it's fantastic. It's really really fantastic So that's the one that I, I own personally So I have something that I want to show you guys today. It's uh, an Aboboya So if you have a look at it, this is an electric Aboboya. These are new models that I'm also trying to introduce on, into the market as well So let's just have a quick view of how the automobile plans. We are still doing expansion expansion the expansions here so this is the testing line there's the water line that's the treatment pool that's the spraying line the spraying line has, has also uh, re received a few uh, expansion adjustments to the building since we are increasing our production so we'll have a look at a few things there as well I mean the guys there are really working the whole place is, is scattered because of um, the expansion millions and millions of dollars has been um, invested into this project okay so uh, this is the old spray line that we are seeing here this is the old spray line that we're seeing here and this is a new one still have a lot of work to do here still have a lot of work hello still have a lot of work to do here So this is a typical spraying place where you can see she's not spraying at the moment so she's not properly dressed for her spraying stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so there's a car that they've sprayed. So they are, it's, being, it's receiving uh, final checks to see if there are no drops on the vehicle and all. So that's what they're doing now. We are, and this is an oven. That you see the extension they see here this is also oven oven for spring booth as well people are checking all their parts and sorting to make sure everything is there these are all part of the branding of kantanka automobile so i'm giving going to give you a review of how work is being done at the plant so this is what we have here so this area, uh, the people who are normally um, here are mechanics. We have, um, how do you call them? The mechanics and we have the interior guys, the exterior guys, the AC um, guys who install the AC. And there's a place that we do testing on the vehicles as well. So look how beautiful these cars are lined up. Oh, so if you want to ask a question, we have one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cars a day that we can uh, actually work on at this plant. If we want to expand it over here, maybe in the near future, means maybe we would have to be increasing the number or doubling up the number from 10 to 20. Means 20 cars a day times 30. 30, um, that's the number of days we have in a month, or 31. So basically, this man we see here, he's a multi-talented utility player. He works at the, I've never seen a macho man who, 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 who is an it. Macho man is an electrical engineer. Macho man. You're on Facebook Live. You're on Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Aho! Oh, gosh, Nice one, nice one, nice one. So we're working on our chassis here, as we can see, to run our vehicles, to take away anyone who tries to steal anything from Kantanka. Automobile. So the machine is writing all these things here. And this guy you see here is also a hardened criminal. He was in, in someone's prisons a few days ago. We had to beg the government to bring him here. I'm kidding, he's not a criminal. I know by now his girls on Facebook or um, Instagram are watching him. Quite, he has a quite a number of girls actually. Yeah. Still, we, we, we don't know where he comes from, whether he's... Uh, anyway, I think we will go on. I've never seen any factory that has a lot of macho men like this before in Ghana. So, yeah, basically I'll take you to the last place we have at the plant. Where at this plant, we, we, this is where we do testing. So the testing line that I showed you guys earlier on is there. But this testing here is a rain test. So after the vehicle is fixed, we need to make sure that everything, all the parts that we welded, all the parts that rubbers were put there, there's no leakage of water or anywhere. So this you see here is a testing line where there are so many, many shower outputs where water comes from. And the pressure that goes in or that comes out of the water is really high. Just to make sure that so oh well the adena, if you weld something and maybe there's a small leakage or something, it will it would actually present itself when you put the cars here. So water comes from this side of the the testing line, this side as well. The top part and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the guys want to um, do a display and let you guys see um, how the water comes out. So that you know that when you buy a car from Kantanka Automobile, durability, safety is one of the company's number one priority. We don't want cars to go out for people to know or people to feel that, oh, um, this car that is coming out in talk crap, but booming. No, 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 there's nothing like when it rains, you're gonna have any effect from the rain. No, when it rains, you don't have any problem. I mean, you're safe. So in a few minutes time, the water is gonna come out from these shower um, ports and you would see, that as I always say, at Kantanka Automobile, safety as the number one priority. So, in a few minutes, let's go. So there we go. So this is how the water comes out. In a few minutes to come, everything will come out. So you see, yeah. So imagine being, if you put in a, your car in this, there are so many cars in Ghana that when you put them under this kind of condition, they will fail. But these cars are still being sold on our roads. You understand me? Just because somebody looks at how much the person is gonna make, small money, somebody could chop. So they will put, they will bring this car out and sell it, sell it on the market. But at Kantanka Automobile, we don't do that. We make sure that in a very tropical zone area like Ghana, we need to check for all these things to make sure. So looking at the 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 size of the vehicle, we can also maybe turn some of these shower ports out and focus on the main area. So now the reason why the, the front part of the shower system is working is we are testing it on the pickups to make sure the pickups 
That is where, you know, the, the back of the pickup doesn't need any rain testing. But the front part of the pickup needs rain testing to make sure that everything is working on fine. You understand? Yes. So, um, yep, 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 yep. So, we're done for today. Every single day or once in a while, random, we'll pick a day and have a tour. Walk with Kojo Sapo Akofna. This is the new thing I want to do now. So, we're going to have a single, every step by step journey of how the vehicles are made, just to kill all kinds of questions that we customers or Ghanaians or concerned citizens I do ask ourselves. Bye bye. Take care guys. My favorite producer. <laughs>